Ever wonder what would happen if the Italians wanted to tackle the Hangover series and make it macabre? Well, here is the product for you. Hi, I'm Torstein from Cinema Terror, let's talk new Italian horror with Ruggiero Deodato's Ballad in Blood. Ballad in Blood is a new film by the legendary film director that forever will have its place in the history books due to his work on Cannibal Holocaust. If you think that's all that Deodato has to offer during his long career however, then you are quite wrong. He has done work in several genres, and a film I personally think is a lot of fun is his 1976 Polizio Tecci movie Live Like a Man, Die Like a Cop. So when Deodato takes a pause from movie cameos and horror conventions, to deliver a full new length genre film, then I get a little bit excited. This should be different, as Deodato is not a director like Lamberto Bava or Bruno Mattei who would just say yes to do whatever project that pops up, and he is even credited with writing the script together with Jacopo Masoli and Angelo Orlando, which apparently are based on a real life crime where a British student was murdered in Perugia by a roommate and her boyfriend. An excitement I had was toned down a bit when I saw the terrible font used on the intro credits to the film. What the hell were they thinking with this shit? Anyway, the movie follows three drug using idiots who wake up after a costume party to find their friend Elizabeth naked and dead. Not calling the cops or anything, the idiot threesome does some more drugs while they try to figure out what they should do with the body and what the hell really went on last night to get him in this situation in the first place. The first 10 minutes will trick you into thinking you're getting a blood filled orgy of a movie as there is blood and tits in every single frame. But that's not what the movie has to offer, well, except all the nudity. Pretty much every character in the film has multiple scenes without a top on, to the point where you wonder if you're actually watching a Umberto Lenzi movie and not a Deodato one. When it comes to the violence though, the film is lacking, as there is very little of it to be found in the film. Since we spend most of the time with the three main characters, then you would expect them to try to make you care for at least one of them perhaps? Well, no, they're all scumbags that take the worst decisions and behave as unlikable as they could get. The actors involved didn't do a bad job, but that's being said with the fact that I have seen some unbearable acting in other movies with such a low budget as this one obviously had, so I actually would expect worse performances than what we got. Add to that a story that just sucks and you're stuck with a bore fest of a movie. There really isn't much to praise in Ballad of Blood unless you're easily entertained by boobs. Well except for one thing, the music is done by the legend himself Claudio Simonetti, and while it's not the most inspired music as created before, it is still miles ahead of the rest of the film and absolutely the highlight of the experience. We are visiting Ivan, he has been sick for days. <laughs> what a fucking liar! Look at him! <laughs> Deodato does try to add some humor to the film, but it just comes across as awkward. It seems like he has been inspired back by the movies of Eli Roth, which is a bit surreal as Roth has obviously been inspired by Deodato's older movies. In fact, Ballad of Blood feels like a film that should have been made and released 10 years ago during the so-called torture porn era, and not now. I am sorry to say that Ballad in Blood is another disappointing new Italian genre movie. I can't see anyone to recommend this film for unless you're a die-hard Deodato fan and just needs to have all of his movies on your shelf. Up here in the north, Nuta Films released it on DVD in the end of March, and I know that the film also has a DVD released in its home country. I hope this is not the last project Deodato does, as I wanted to go out with a better project than this, even if he's getting near to being 80 years old by now. Ballad in Blood gets the poor score of 1.5 out of 5. Am I the only one so far that's seen Ballad in Blood? If you have seen it, then let me know what you thought about it. And what is your favorite Deodato film of all time? And let's keep Cannibal Holocaust out of that discussion and give me some of his other titles that you enjoy in the comment section below. Hope you found the review enjoyable, even if it was a negative one. And thank you very much for checking it out.